Hi lovelies and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we will be doing the swatches, the review and also the tutorial with the Lime Crime Birthday Collection palette. And I'm sure you see that subscribe button below and if you haven't hit it yet, please do because you won't regret it. This channel has the most original and bright swatches on the whole YouTube. Now let me show you the palette. I also filmed this palette before I dipped my greedy hands into it, so I will show you as it was untouched. Let me now show you the arm swatches of all the colors one by one, and then I will show you the tutorial of this look that I did using this palette. By the way, the palette is actually smaller than I thought, so compared to my hand, it looks like this. I honestly don't mind that because I love carrying makeup palettes in my bag, so that's convenient in my opinion. Okay, I'll go in this order with the colors. Rose Burst Frosting RSVP Tin Blue Sky Grass Lime Crime Candles Cloud Tunicorn Libra and Wrapped. A full arm of Lime Crime. Hmm. So now you have seen the swatches for yourself. I have already shown you the size. As for the formula, for the most part, it's actually good. It may not be the best one in my life, but it's good. The mattes, even those that have shimmer in them, are actually super pigmented. I think my favorite color out of the palette is Libra, which is this bright magenta color. And the only shade I was actually disappointed in was this blue sky one. It's sort of something in between an eyeshadow and a pressed glitter, so it's actually very hard to get on the brush. And when you get it on your fingertip, it's very hard to apply to your eyelid. I mean, uh, it does apply, it does show up, but it sort of shows up as a semi-sheer one. I was expecting it to be just as bright as in the palette, but actually I think it works best with some base color underneath. So if you put a matte underneath, I don't know, for example, this green grass one or this dark blue wrapped one, I think it will work best on top. This is what I did in this tutorial. As for other shimmers, they are already more pigmented, though it might still be a good idea to layer them over a matte. To sum it all up, I actually like this palette, I do not regret getting it, and I liked all the colors except one, but not liking one color out of 12, I think is okay. Let's now go to the tutorial, and in the meantime, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. If you already have this palette, feel free to share your opinion. I think everyone will be interested in reading the more opinions, the better. This grass eyeshadow is almost matte with just a tiny bit of shimmer. And you know I love shimmer, so I'm going to add a little bit of the Lime Crime Signature Shade to give it some more glow. I'm adding just a tiny amount here to add some shimmer, but not to overrun the grass color. Next, I'm going to extend it a little, already without the dark green base. I will continue with this true orange. And now I will be adding the shimmers. They are best to apply with your fingertips. But of course I will use a brush to blend them. And I saved this beautiful cloud eyeshadow for the inner corner. Now that I got the colors on the upper lid right, let me blend them a little bit. 
adding a tiny bit of lime crime in the outer corner blend and a very very small amount of frosting in the rest of the blend. Now I will do the eyeliner on the upper lid before I go to the lower one. And let's make it shine! First with rose burst and then with tunicorn. To complete the eye look, of course I need a mascara and also a pencil on my waterline. I will apply the waterline pencil after I do the lipstick. For the lips, I'm first using Gauss Matte Lipstick in Raspberry. Then I'm using the Lime Crime Diamond Crusher in Strip. I have Diamond Crushes reviewed in other colors on my channel, the links are also in the description box. And for the waterline, I'm using Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eyes in M22. Here it is, the final look. So guys, this is just an example of one of the many looks that you can do with this palette. I hope you liked it, I hope you liked the swatches, that you enjoyed the tutorial and that you might give this video a thumbs up, maybe? Who knows? Anyway, thanks so much for watching, I hope to see you more on my channel and in my next video. Bye bye loves!